Who is in the wrong? Is it the customer or the Bank of America employee? Take a look. Can you tell me why you you're not? Can, can you tell me why you're not cashing Sir, I this need check? You to please leave. You may not videotape me. Okay, why well, I'm videotaping Sir, you? May not you. Videotape and I'm gonna put this on Facebook that you won't cash my check. It's from Bank of America that you refuse to run it. Can you validate to see if this check is any good before I cash it at my bank? Can you please validate this check to see if it's any good so I can cash it at my bank? Don't do that. Can you please stop? I'm allowed to record. Can you validate this check before I put it in my bank to make sure it's any good? Um, sir, I would need for you to please leave. Can you please. validate the check? Sir, this is a bank. We ask that you not video. Okay, us, and please. the law says I'm allowed to videotape. What law am I breaking? Now, sir, I'm, I'm check, asking you to personally not And I'm asking you, me. can you validate that check before I stick it in my account to see if it's any good? Sir, I, I need for you to please I'm please. asking you, can you validate the check? To see if it's any good. Sir, we have clients and, and you, you may not. I'm a client, ma'am. You may not. I'm a client. Okay. You want to call the police? Call the police. I'll call them for you. You go outside. No, call the police. You want to call them? Call them. Call them. We have other clients. Okay, and I'm asking you to verify the check. We need for you to stop videotaping. No, I'm not going to stop videotaping. I'm going to go step yes. outside. And I'm going to wait for the police since you threatened to call them on a black person because you refuse to validate a check that has Bank of America on it. But I'll wait for the police outside. Thank you, sir. Wait for the police outside. Don't, don't ever do, do me like that. Don't ever do me like that when I'm in the right. Don't ever do me no, like that. No, we should have left. Because the police come, we're going to haul it off. I can't get home. And we're not we're hauling off. Here, here. I'm not sure what the policy is regarding banking at Bank of America. Nevertheless, the customer was claiming a racial issue. But I don't think that's what this is. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Karen and her assistant refused to allow some kids in a neighborhood access to the community pool. Take a look at this. So what unit do you belong to? It's none of your business. Say that again. Okay. And then what unit? That's not on your list. Okay. Oh, well then uh, I'll hold this. I'll give it to ASNA and you guys can come and collect it. You can have it. That's worth a dollar. That's okay. Yeah. They open it because it's time for them to go in. And we were cleaning it. Not actually in there. We were cleaning the it today. The closed. And it's supposed to have the lock on the door. No, they cannot they open, open it. it. Uh, he was the man who was cleaning the pool. Yeah, the cleaning? Yeah. So we need to talk to them. So it's it's closed. It's not supposed to be open. And to what? Until the door is open. They? I don't, I don't know. We don't yeah, know we for sure. We were cleaning it since it was a lot of us. You just did the car. We were filling it out. And it was a bunch of uh, trash and we're cleaning it up. Yeah, it's supposed to be closed. So the pool's closed until we have like, the repair people come in. Like, we have to have a pool thing on there and it's broken oh, up. We have, until we have things up to code, we have to have a pool. Oh, cool. So cool. this lock should have been. I'm trying to see a password. Oh, yeah. We need to talk to the cleaning people. Can I get it back? Hmm? Can I get what unit are you from? Huh? What unit? That's none of your business. May I get my mom back? Uh, I don't May know. I, get I, I need to make sure it's yours. You well, it's mine. Oh, it's right. it's they were going back. swimming earlier. Right. I, I, I just throw it in there. And so, can you tell me the unit number? How do we know the unit no. number? What is that? What? what oh, no. Like, you're, like where you're living. You can yeah, call the like landlord yeah. and ask your We landlord. got more of those. To ask for the ball. Here, listen. Yeah. It's just, this is the thing. The pool is supposed to be locked. The pool is supposed to be closed. No one's supposed to be in the pool if it's locked and closed. You mean, they can that is not No, it's not hers. Ball. And I'm telling you to give it to me. Let it go. Please let it go. Give it to me. Okay. I'm gonna find out where you are and you will. Do it. I don't care. Do me. I'm in love. Oh, my God. Do me. 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 Don't you just love how that parent stood up to Miss Karen and her assistant? 
unbelievable. What would you have done or how would you have reacted if you were accused of stealing by a loss prevention officer at Home Depot? Take a look. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. He said I stole it. Look. How you looking? It's going to go viral right now. He said I stole it. I'm going to go review my page. Go I, seen you, I seen you pull in the cage and grab she it. She said go get it. Who? Her. Your employee. Did she not? You said go grab this from the cage. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. You almost got knocked away. Oh? Yeah. Yeah. Did it. All right. You've been right. sleep, sleep. All right, all right, all right. I'll take an apology now, though. Go ahead. Can we talk No, 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 no. You can talk right here on camera. Okay. okay. So from you my lied. point of view, my point of view, I see in the office, you pull on a cage. Now you, no, you grab me and grab the thing, bro. I grab the item, not you. I grab the item because you pulled on the cage and grabbed it and walked. You pushed me out the way to grab it out of my truck. Did you? I didn't touch you. I grabbed the item. Okay. Okay. So look, my point of view, I'm in the office on camera. I see you pull cage. And grab the item, right? She said, go grab the item. I didn't know that. 911. Yeah. You can call 911. That's good. You're so too you little for 911, bro. Okay. Yeah. I probably shorter. <laughs> you gotta got a meal plan, though. I shorter press more than you, probably. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> Anyways, bro. So, listen, my point of view, I seen you on camera. Just apologize, bro. No, I'm sorry, man. I mean, I'm sorry. Okay, cool. Let me get, can I get my thing back? Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> but listen, bro, I seen you pull in a cage. She said, go get the item. I didn't know that part. I didn't know any of that part. I get employees telling me, hey, this dude grabbed this out of the cage. And I seen you grab it out of the cage. She said, go grab it. I didn't I went know to grab that. it. I it's on the shelf. That. I grabbed it off the shelf. So, okay. Can we talk outside? We talking. All right, come on. <laughs> so what happens when you pay for stuff, they think you stole it, and now you're walking out with it. So listen, bro. I seen you pull the cage right around. Right around, you pull the cage and grab it. No, I grabbed the item and slid I it out. I didn't, I didn't know that part. She didn't tell me that. That never runs through, bro. When I walk the floor and I see a dude pulling on a cage and grabbing an item and walking out, that's theft. Selection. How's this? How's it theft? You pulled off the shelf. Bro, because I didn't see you pay for this. Nobody said you pay for this. I got a receipt in my pocket. Okay, but I see you grab So it. your employees need to refer that to you. Yes, sir. Right? That's right. But so for me, I see you grab the, grab the cage, pull it, right? I see you grab the item and walk straight out. I'm in uniform, man. I know that. Bro, we could do this. It's a million dollar company, bro. I know that, bro. I see you. Are you the one that goes to Bella Fitness? Yeah. Okay, I'll be, I see the truck all the time. But, so like I'm saying. So people point, are going to wear their, their uniform. Bro, people do that all the time, bro. We get people that still up yeah. all the time. Yeah, but. I don't think what that officer did was right. Just because you have people stealing at your store, that doesn't give you a right to accuse others of stealing. Unbelievable. Please take your time to watch this drama that happened at Walmart between a customer and an employee over a $649 transaction. Take a look at this. Now, so let's get it right. You don't have to finish. Like, you have to 
can I get my 649? Wow, come on, don't be no Uncle Tom. For real, don't be no Uncle Tom. It may take 48 hours. Huh? She said five business. Money out my phone. Uh, let me hunt it. Okay. Hold my phone. I got you, bro. The manager that you're going to go to not come down here. So if I got any late fees, what she said, you going to compensate me? How about that? Okay, I need a pencil and paper and all that. I want all that written down. I don't mean to be disrespectful, okay, but it's listen, the way you handle it. Listen, ma'am. She is the immediate supervisor, and I'm going to... For my money. That's the only thing I need right there. So write your piece of paper saying that you're gonna compensate me for my late fees. And I can go on about my business. My name is Lena. I just need a pencil paper. I don't need no name, no nothing. Write it down. See one thing about one thing about your hands ain't get a walk for you. Girl, give me a pencil paper and give me that one eight hundred number, Walmart's number. Whatever I need, get it. What do you mean? You need to scare me. The simple fact that the Walmart employee was willing to compensate the customer on possible late fees speaks a lot of volume on the mistake that was made on their behalf. Unbelievable. A Planet Fitness employee kicks out a member for bringing in his own personal water bottle. Take a look at this. So I have to stick by her rules. You, you, have it, you have it nowhere where anyone can see it. It's just an arbitrary rule that you pull out of air that you can't show me in writing, that you don't have posted anywhere in your, in your gym. That is correct. So you, you just come out with a rule that nobody knows about. Everybody that comes here knows about that rule. 
Do they? Mm -hmm. I've been here with this bottle. Mm -hmm. How, they have a problem. Well, guys, you all know that we can't have these on the floor. So I'm in here at Planet Fitness with this bottle and Miss Ashley mm -hmm. does not want to allow me to work out because she says my bottle will not fit into her cup holder which I go to multiple Planet Fitnesses and never have an issue. Sir, can you please stop? That's all, that's all I'm saying. You, you still have not provided me any documentation for what I was asking. Facility, please. I'm going to ask you to leave. So you can't provide any documentation? Are you going to leave? I'm just asking. You can't provide any, yes or no? But all I asked you to do is could you provide it? And I guess the answer is no. All right. Well, obviously, I see what you're doing. You want to call the police like I'm making a big problem for you. I'll go ahead and leave since you asked me to leave. Do you think that Planet Fitness location is actually making up their own rules? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Finally, for this video, we've got a park police Karen having a major meltdown over a dog not being on a leash. Take a look at this. And you know what Tia does? Mind her business and just hold her own. Why don't you do the same? You know why I don't do the same? Because I don't think it's funny that other dog owners, like yourself, think it's okay that you think this park is your backyard. It is not. Keep that thing on a lead. Please. It has no recall and it's nasty. It might be very sweet at home, maybe. But it ain't a cute dog. It's not welcome in the park off leash and being cute. Because it's not cute. And maybe you're not used to somebody coming up to you, putting their dog back home and finding you back in the park and calling you on your behavior. But let me tell you, I'm going to call you on it every time I see you doing it wrong. Even though Karen was right about a dog not being on a leash in a park, however, her disposition was totally wrong. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.